Hello everyone. Our today's topic is subtraction of two digit numbers with and without carrying. We will be learning about how to subtract numbers which have two digits instead of one and how to carry digits when subtracting. You already know how to subtract single digit numbers. We can subtract two digit numbers the same way. The only difference is that in single digit numbers you only had units in them but in two digit numbers you have units and tens. When you are subtracting a two digit number from another two digit number you first have to subtract the unit and write down the answer and then subtract the 10 and write down its answer and the combined number will be the subtraction of the numbers. Let's suppose you have a jar full of candies at home. When you count, you find that there are 36 candies in the jar. A friend of yours comes to visit you. You want to share your candies with him. So, you give him 15 candies from the jar. Now, how would you know how many candies are left in your jar? You can find out by subtracting 15 candies that you gave to your friend from 36 that is the total candies you had before. So let's subtract 15 from 36. From the place value lesson you know that in 15 there are 5 units and 1 10 and in 36 there are 6 unit and 3 tens. Let's subtract 15 from 36 using a t table for units and tens. In subtraction, the larger number is written first and then the smaller number is written below it. T column U where U represents units and T represents tens. 3 column 6 6 units and 3 tens in 36 minus 1 column 5 5 units and 1 ten in 15 2 column 1 in unit column we have 6 and when we cross 5 of them 1 remains so we will write 1 in the column of unit and in column of 10 we have 3 and when we cross 1 2 remains so we will write 2 in the column of 10 this makes 21 so after giving 15 candies to your friend from the total of 37 there are 21 candies left in your jar let's do another subtraction let's assume there are 63 birds perched on trees in a jungle 29 of these birds fly away. How many birds are still perched on the trees now? Let's find out by subtracting the number of flown away birds that is 29 from the total number of birds that were perched in the beginning 
that is 63 so one number you have is 63 and the other is 29 as you know in 63 there are three units and six tens and in 29 there are nine units and two tens let's subtract 29 from 63 in the t table for units and tens t column u where u represents units and t represents tens 6 column 3 3 units and 6 tens in 63 minus 2 column 9 9 units and 2 tens in 29 3 column 4 in unit column we have 3 from which 9 has to be subtracted but since 9 is bigger than 3 we cannot do it so first we will carry 1 from the 10 column of 63 that is 6 and place it with 3 as a 10 so 3 and 10 become 13 when added now since 13 is bigger than 9 we can subtract 9 from it so from 13 when we cross 9 of them 4 remains so we will write 4 in the column of unit in the column of 10 we have 5 from 63 because we had carried 1 from it now we have 5 and when we cross 2 3 remains so we will write 3 in the column of 10 this makes 34 so by subtracting 29 from 63 we get 34 hence there are 34 remaining birds who did not fly and are still staying on the trees we hope now you have learned about subtraction of two digit numbers with and without carrying if some concepts are not clear then replay the video again and again still if you have some questions then ask your teacher